Good morning, monkeys. So why do I make these videos? Why would I tell people these stories when I could just easily not tell them these stories, right? Like most people don't want people to know that they've gone through addiction struggles and jails and prisons and things like that. Which also begs the question, should we just leave all of our past in the rear view and move forward? And I do agree with that. But I also agree with the fact that so many people are out here in the world without the knowledge and education to understand how addiction affects you, affects your family, and affects your community. So for me, after years and years of using and years and years of jails and not understanding why my brain kept telling me that I needed to go back to that, I figured I'd start making videos to help people understand that it is a struggle and you can come out of it. It used to be embarrassing to me. It used to be something that I didn't want to talk about. Um, it used to be something that I hid from and wouldn't admit. And then I decided to lean into it because I do understand that some people are in the same boat and some people don't know what to do next. And the fact that I've had so many people reach out to me since I've started this channel, I just took a person to rehab yesterday. I got a chick that I spent three months with getting off of a gas station heroin. I got another buddy that was on gabapentin for five or six years and watching me get off was one of the things that helped him to get off. And now he's clean of those pills and feels a lot better. So that's kind of why I make these videos, man. Like I don't mind getting on here and, and putting myself out there if it helps people. You know, I don't just want to sit on here and talk about all the horrible things that happened in my life. Like that's not the point of this. The point of this is to help people understand that, yo, I know where you're at, bro. I've been there. Like some people go to treatment and you go to treatment and these people that you talk to in these treatment centers, they aren't users. They aren't addicts. They don't understand the way an addict does. So I think that I can relate to these people a little bit more. I know a lot of people that watch it and reach out to me and, and tell me that it's affecting them in a positive way. And that's what I enjoy about this. That's why I'm out here in the middle of a field right now. It's hot as balls, but I'm out here because I enjoy the interactions. I enjoy the help that it does, uh, you know, give to people. None of my videos like this are scripted, bro. I just have a basic idea and I just come out here and talk to you. We're just hanging out. We're just chilling. You know, I do my little minimal editing in here because that's really all I know how to do. Um, but I try to keep it interesting and I try to keep it positive. You know, I have a lot of things that goes on in my life every single day too that are, are negative. I just choose not to feed into them. And when I do feed into them like I used to, I have this way of thinking about it now that I didn't used to have. Um, a buddy of mine said to me yesterday that it had been like three or four months since he had taken any Xanax. And he's been doing really well, man. He's been working out. His family is proud of him. His kid is proud of him. And the fact that his brain just reverts back to using Xanax because he has a little bit of stress in his life is what this is all about. Because that's not necessary. We don't have to use every single day to survive. You can get by being clean and feel better. And trust me when I tell you, because I have used every drug that you could possibly use and I have felt the effects of those drugs. I know they make you feel good. I know it only lasts for so long too. So that's kind of what I'm trying to help people understand, man, is that like if, if somebody like me that literally went into a pharmacy and took all of their pills can turn his life around, bro, then anybody can. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody can. If I believe that if I can do it, anybody can do it because I didn't think I could do it at one time. I didn't think I would ever be where I am right now. I didn't think I would ever be clean. I didn't think I would ever be uh, productive and positive and actually looked to in the way that I am looked to now by some people. I've always been looked down on. I'm just a, you know, poor piece of white trash, bro. That's what I am. That's what I've always been. Uh, I had this thing in my head where I thought I was more than that for a long time. And then now that I'm clean and I look back at all the horrible shitty things I did to people, man, that's what I was. I was a piece of white trash, bro. Straight up. And after thinking about that for a few years and thinking about, yo, what would happen if I died today? What would happen if I was gone today? What would people say about me? And that started to really affect me. Like, yo, what would people say about me, bro? Like, I was a decent person. Like, I was a funny guy, but I was a drug addict. I robbed people. I stole shit. I went to jail. Like, 
would that be the type of person that I call a piece of shit? Yes, it would be the type of person I call a piece of shit. So once I started understanding that I was a piece of shit, I didn't want to be a piece of shit no more. And once I started not being a piece of shit, I want everybody to join me. I want everybody that is in that piece of shit region where you're using and people don't trust you and you're telling lies or you're stealing or you're robbing or you're selling dope to people that might kill them. Like these are the things that I want people to stop doing and I want people to realize that that isn't the way to live and you can live a whole much better life, a whole much better, a whole lot better life without all that. Your people will be proud of you, man. Your kids will be proud of you. Like, be dependable. Tell people you're going to be at work and then fucking show up for work, man. You know what I mean? This is the things that I did when I was using like, hey, I'd show up two or three days and then I call in the other days and I acted like that my boss, which sometimes was my dad back then or other bosses, like they didn't know. Act like they didn't know. Bro, they know. We know. When you come at us and you say this crazy shit and you talk all this fucking game like you're going to do something and you never do it, we know you're lying. And so do your parents, so do your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your kids. They all know it. Addiction is something that is hard to overcome. And it's not something like building a deck or drawing a picture or, you know, driving a car. These things have simple instructions. Push on the gas, push on the brake, you know, hit the steering wheel. Do whatever you got to do to make these things work. But addiction isn't that way because it's different for everybody, you know? It isn't always turn left and you go left. It isn't always hit the brakes and you hit the brakes, you know what I mean? And you slow down, it doesn't work that way. You have to build up an understanding of how it works. So for the younger people that are in their 20s and things like that, that reach out to me that I talk to, or even in their 30s, hell, even in their 60s, bro, any of them that I can help, that's what these videos are about, you know? That's what they are for me. I enjoy reaching out. I enjoy helping people. Like, I don't know. I just thought I wanted to make a video here, man, to, to address that. And I'll tell you how all this came up. It's because a buddy of mine asked me. He was like, why would you want to tell people all those things? Like, why would you want to tell people that you overdosed? Why would you want to tell people that you robbed this or that you stole that? And that really had me thinking, bro, like, why do I want to do that? And it's several reasons, because since I've started this channel, man, I've seen a lot of people die. You know, before I started this channel, I watched a lot of people die. But since I've started this channel, I've also seen some amazing things. Like a podcast I did with Jax Long was amazing. The things she told us and the information she gave us that nobody talks about was amazing. It's just awesome. And then Terry, like Terry came in and told us about her daughter being friggin' murdered, bro. Like, that is something that, like, how many people get to deal with that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel so sorry for her, man. Her five-year anniversary of her daughter's death is, like, right around right now. And I think it's important for people to understand that you can move on past those things, too, man. She still works every day. She's still out there killing it. And so is Jax. Like, everything that Jax went through, she's still out there kicking ass in life, man. And that's what I want. I want people to see that this trauma, this death, this drug addiction, this prison, all those things aren't the last thing for you. That is not the last thing. Uh, I had a kid yesterday talking to me about how things just got so jumbled up in his head that he just wanted to kill himself. And I'm like, bro, you're like fucking 25 or 26 years old. And you're trying to tell me that you want to kill yourself because you've lived such a life with a little bit of money. Okay, living a life with money is not a life, bro. Love is life. You know what I'm saying? Experience is life. Just having a nice car, just having a nice house, that shit doesn't mean a whole lot. Do we all want those things? Yes, of course. Who doesn't want a nice house and a nice car and money? Yes, man, it makes things very less stressful. I work every day to try to make money, but I also work for the person out there that doesn't even understand that they can live a normal life because they've been wrapped up in drugs. They've been wrapped up in addiction for so long. That's the person I'm reaching out to, man. You're the people I'm listening, you know. You're the people that I am talking to when I sit down and make these videos. Anyways, I just wanted to drop this video, man, and let you know why I make these videos. Because like I was saying, I was asked this question and I feel like it was legitimate. Um, so I appreciate y'all hanging out with me, man. These are just hangout videos. This is just me and you chilling, bro. You know, that's what these videos are about. It's hot as a son of a bitch out here. So I'm leaving until the next time. Don't sweat the petty things.
pets are sweaty things.